Hello and welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Today we're looking at Clon Extra Regions by Clover uh, for 13th of September 2024. Uh, my name's Bill Murphy and I'm one of our setters here at Gas HQ. Uh, we are Gas, genuinely approachable Sudoku. We create, set, and solve genuinely approachable Sudoku for you. That's right, the solver. Uh, reading this, uh, you can find the link to today's puzzle in the description down below. Uh, you'll also find hat times. Hat times are our indicator of a uh, how fast or, uh, you know, how less fast you solve the puzzle. Two hats is for a good time, a really fast time. My apologies. Uh, one hat is for a very fast time. And everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally. Um, so, a couple things. One, uh, apologies about the audio for today. One, I'm sinusy, and two, I'm on my stupid old laptop because I accidentally left my work laptop charger at home, uh, the one that I've sorted out the audio. Two, I'm very sinusy at the moment, so if my voice sounds a little bit weird, like I need to go and record a sleep podcast, uh, apologies in advance. Three, um, shout out to my lovely, my lovely girlfriend, uh, whose birthday it is today. Um, if you give her a big heart emoji in the uh, comments, I'll give you a bonus hat on me. Wink. Um, and yeah, that's that's about it, I think. Let's get into the puzzle. All right, so um, normal Sudoku rules apply. So each box, each row, and each column must contain the digits one to nine once each. Now, in the grid, we have these two nine digit, uh, nine cell cages. Now, uh, the digit in the two shaded regions, uh, need to contain, uh, need to be in the identical spot. Uh, so spoiler alert, this is both, both of these are going to have to be a nine, but also in these cages, uh, the digits one to nine must appear once each. That's it. That's all you need to know to solve the puzzle. Please make sure you read the rules uh, so that way you don't get tripped up like a lot of people have been doing uh, with Clover's duplicate puzzles. Um, that being said, I'm going to get into it. Oh, pardon me. Uh, let's get going. Now, uh, like I said, these two digits are nine. Now, I need to place an eight in this cage. Um, and the reason I'm saying I need to place an eight is because one, two, three, four five, six, seven, all of those digits see this cell. And that means because this can't be a nine, because I've already put a nine in the cage, both of these must be eight. Now, uh, I need to place some more digits in this cage. Um, so let's do that. Now, I know a secret, and it's these three cells can't have one, two, three, or four. Because if you look down this way, these two cells can't have it. And if you look down across this way, these uh, two cells can't have it. So we know that these four cells need to contain the digits one, two, three, and four. Now we can do some uh, stuff with that. Now one looking this way can't uh, put a one in those cells. And what, uh, oi, was one the digit I wanted? Was one the digit I wanted? Hang on. Ah, oh, yeah, and the one down here. Uh, see that? So one goes there. Now, uh, it's, it's, uh, uh, three, looking down these two cells, can't be there from this three. So three must go there. And then we have a two, and a three goes here. A two here puts a two here and here. And a four puts a four there. Now, we need to place a five, a six, and a seven left in this. Six can't go in these two cells, so six goes here. Now, if you're like, Bill, is there something I can do to uh, do figure out what those two digits are? No. Um, I think that's the little bit of a delight of this puzzle. Um, that's just, uh, we now have to swap our brains into regular old Sudoku mode. So let's do that. Um, this is a six, nine pair. Uh, but a nine here tells us which way around these go. Nine here means that nine can't go in this cell. So that's a three and that's a nine. And this is a two, four pair, but a two in the extra region tells us which way around those go. 
this is five, seven, and eight. Uh, all right. Now we need to do a bit more Sudoku. All right, let's. So we placed a lot of one, two, three, four at the start. Can we do something with that? Is a good question. Um, uh, I'll pencil. I'll do some pencil marking. Uh, two, two goes here. That's helpful. Uh, oh, actually, no, it's not. Never mind. Uh, oh, that that is useful. Two uh, can only go in one spot in box five, and it's here, which makes that a one. Uh, where does three go in column four? Can't go in those cells, so three must go there, meaning this is a four nine pair, and the nine here tells us which way around those go. Uh, five, seven, and eight uh, to place here. I will pencil mark that uh, triple. Uh, that's three. Where does nine go in box two? Nine must go here. Uh, four, six, and eight to place. Uh, four and six tell us that this must be an eight. Uh, four, six, like that. Uh, this is now a five or a seven. This can't be an eight. Oh, ooh, pardon me. All right. Uh, five, seven, and eight. Um, okay. This is three, four, and eight. I can't quite. Oh, no, I can put a four here. And the three, eight here is going to. Uh, put an eight in there, um, which means this has to be one and six. Uh, oh, I do have the six. Okay, cool. Love that for me. Uh, five, seven here. Uh, eight in column seven must go here. So this is a five, seven. Uh, and we can fill out the rest of the digits in uh, this box. Uh, one and four in row four tells us that that must be a nine. Uh, that's four, that's one. Uh, one, five, and seven. A hey, time to do a little bit of damage, maybe. Uh, one and five up here mean that that has to be a seven. So this is a five. Yeah, there we go. Seven, five, seven, five. Uh, take the seven out of here. Uh, one, five, and eight over here. That's a one. Five, eight down here means that that's a three and that's an eight. And I've just remembered that this is a clone, so that's pretty helpful. Uh, eight, seven, eight, five, uh, two, six, and seven over here. Yes, I can do that. That's a seven. That's a two. That's a six. Uh, five and six. Oh, I can't quite finish that off yet. Uh, that's a nine and a three. Take three out of here. Four, seven, and then we are just finishing this puzzle off. I hope you like, um, I hope you liked, uh, the little, the variant got it quite a bit of the way there, but not the whole way there. Um, and then we got the rest of, uh, we had to do a bunch of Sudoku to kind of finish off the variant logic. I thought it was funky. Um, anyway, uh, that's been Clon, Clon Extra Regions by Clover. Uh, I'm still Bill Murphy, and I will see you all next time. Cheers.